there's a lot of worries about the credit contractions that could be seen in the United States, particularly among that sector, small, medium-sized banks that tend to sm bank small and medium-sized businesses. Do you expect that there will be a significant contraction, and how do you handicap the ripple effects to the economy? So certainly the risks now are more to the downside than they were at the beginning of the year. And no, no one anticipated the turmoil that we've seen so far this year at the beginning. And I think it certainly makes the second half is not going to be as strong macroeconomically or in terms of investment banking wallet and the like that we had hoped. That said, um, you know, the, I think, as you say, one of the big questions will be to what extent does credit tighten? Um, and, you know, if that is material, that will have a, a drag on the economy. We're anticipating a recession at the back end of the year, but the amount of pent-up demand, the amount of um, the strength of the corporates, the strength of the consumer coming into this, the usual amplifiers of a contraction are not in place. Um, and I think we'll see the U.S. economy, unlike others, pull out of whatever a recession environment could be pretty quickly. So to the extent you see that recession finally come nearer, what exactly does it look like? Who is impacted? What feels the pain? Well, we're, we're, I think we'll see, as one always does, more pain being felt in among some of the consumers at the lower FICO. The benefit we've got at the moment has been very strong employment, and that's terrific for the health of the consumer, and that's, uh, that, that has remained. Um, the same, the corporate sector is particularly strong, and I think that's why you hear so many of us talking about this being a, a more manageable, a moderate recession, uh, if, if one does indeed come about, um, and one in which the economy should be able to pull out of it uh, pretty strongly.